All right, we continue to follow our atmospheric river into the northwest. Just take a look at this area of moisture that extends several hundred miles to the south-southwest of the Pacific Northwest. And watch all that moisture coming in as we go through the rest of today. You'll notice it's a very narrow band, and that is classic for an atmospheric river. It's a narrow band of uh, rich moisture coming in from the Pacific. In this case, we see them along the Atlantic, see them in the Gulf of Mexico as well. So here we go, and you can see the rain. It just continues to fall around Seattle and Portland. Now, what's going to happen is this rain area is going to continue to move south as we go through this afternoon with the northern edge even in still in Seattle by the middle part of the afternoon just pouring in Portland. As we head toward tonight, uh, maybe after 9, 10 o'clock, that's when that rain band finally starts to sink south. Heaviest rain tonight and tomorrow morning is going to be southern, uh, southwestern Washington and western parts of Oregon. The other concern is this. Look how warm it is. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s, which means snow levels are going to be sky high. And with rainfall that we're looking at in Seattle, about two to four, Portland, three to six inches of rain. And then in the uh, foothills of the uh, Cascades, western foothills, and also along the coast, easily four to eight inches of rain. And we have an AccuWeather local storm max of 18 inches of rain. You combine that with this, we had a lot of snow over this weekend. A couple feet of snow in the Cascades. That's already started to melt. You put rain on top of that, you're going to have some major flooding here in the streams and rivers along with the low-lying areas. Make sure you stay safe.